Good morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Good morning, everybody. I am Rhonda. And I'm Chuckalicious Chuck Williams. Hey. Hello, everybody. Ed Montana here on a beautiful Tuesday. Our man Ed's hanging out with us all day. Uh, just like humans, dogs can suffer from seasonal allergies. With signs like scratching, chewing, and licking, it can be downright rough on dog i just had to do that that was just <laughs> yeah i had, had to take it i had too to take easy. the easy joke here to explain the many causes of seasonal allergies and how to help your pooch lose the itch is dr dana liska a veterinary dermatologist specialist doctor welcome to the chat how are you doing today i'm well how are all of you we're doing great we're doing great well you know um my son has a dog and she was losing her fur. She was constantly scratching, uh, biting on herself a lot. Uh, is, is that a lot of times, is that due to food allergies? We did find that she had a thyroid problem, actually. But is, it, can that be food allergies or, or, or just seasonal allergies? I'm sorry. I'm used to food allergies, seasonal allergies. No, it's a great question, Rhonda. I really appreciate it. And it can, it can be from both. Um, or you know, either or, or both together. But I will say this, most of the time when we see these itchy dogs, it is because of the seasonal component. So the environmental, the weeds, the trees, the grasses, the molds, house dust, house dust mite. But there is a smaller subset of dogs who can have those similar symptoms, but it is being caused by an ingredient in the food. So we should really be looking at uh, more uh, whole foods for our pets? What I would absolutely encourage you to do is it, it, anybody, any of your viewers who are watching or who will get to see this, I would say if their dog is suffering from symptoms in their skin, licking, biting, rubbing, rolling, chewing, whatever, scratching at their ears, shaking their head, if they are exhibiting any of those symptoms and it seems a little excessive, then I want your, your, your viewers just to go straight to their veterinarian and have that conversation with their veterinarian because there is a there's a there's a lot of information out there and I think the veterinarian is absolutely the best person to have the conversation with your viewers as to what is going to be safe and effective. Absolutely. And I appreciate that you bring up flea because that was something I didn't touch on before. But yeah, there's dogs out there who are simply allergic to bites of fleas. And then we, we touched on quickly food allergy, ingredients in the food. And then again, what we see so commonly, and I'm certain here in the Dallas area and out where you are in Amarillo, the environmental allergies. So again, the weeds, the trees, the pollens, those grasses um, are very big triggers for, for pets out there. So one thing, what what about like the, you know, if you bathe your dog or, or, or whatever pet you have, the chemicals that are in those shampoos and things like that, does that play a factor as well? Well, I will share with you that there's, I mean, I've used a lot of shampoos, a lot of different companies over the year in my practice. And as long as they're made by a company that is reputable, I feel very confident that they're not including ingredients that that could cause itch. Um, so certainly, again, like I think that's just like, again, like if an owner is worried, they're concerned that maybe something that they're doing at home is not working for the dog, get in to see the veterinarian. I think that's really important. Doctor, you work with a company, is it Zoestis? Your Zoetis, uh -huh. Zoetis. Uh, we we yep. think of when a dog is having these, just like with a human, you want to relieve some of that suffering. You want to do something about it. What can we do as pet owners to, to relieve some of that, that itching, that scratching? Uh, let's say if you're not able to get them to a veterinarian right away. Absolutely. So make that call to the veterinarian quickly, though, and get that appointment scheduled. Because I say this again, if your if your viewers have pets who are experiencing these symptoms in their skin, I want them to think if it's skin, I've got to get my dog in to see the veterinarian. And then getting the veterinarian in is really the best way because they're able to assess their patients and figure out is it flea, is it food, could this be a patient with seasonal allergies? 
then they're able to create the short and long-term therapy. And what I'm so proud, what we are so proud of at Zoetis is we have an FDA approved prescription. It is a therapy called Apoquel. And what I appreciate so much about it is that it starts working starts working within four hours, so super fast, and it's able to control that itch within 24 hours. So, Doctor, uh, before, we, before we're done here, uh, what would you like the pet owners to take away? Should we remain consistent with the same food all the time, change it up, different soaps, different uh, medicines and things? What's your best advice? Yeah, the more we... I would say the more we change things, the more that kind of muddies the water for the veterinarian. So my two pieces of advice are one, don't delay. If it's skin, get your pet into the veterinarian so that we can just address that itch before it becomes other problems in the skin. And number two, I would love for your viewers to go to itchingforhelp.com. It's a place where they can learn about the options that are safe and effective, and then they are prepared to have that conversation when they go in and take their pet in to see its veterinarian. Uh, you can go to their website, Zoestis, and find out about this Avoquil medication and help your pet have a great spring and summer. Uh, it's just like any of us, if you're sneezing all the time or your nose is running, it's a miserable existence. And it can make a difference between a happy pet and an unhealthy pet. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for your time this morning. Uh, and w once again, can you give them the website where they can go and find out more about treatments for pet allergies this spring? Yeah, you did a great job of summarizing there for me, but I would say go to itchingforhelp.com. Itchingforhelp.com. We'll put a link of this to this on our oh, website. Thank you. And we can help you out. Ed's uh, like got you said. problems over Ed, there. Yeah, Ed's, Ed, what if you got a great singer who's got an itch or <laughs> it's scratching a little bit? But yeah, oh, I, my, do, my son one day drug a dog home, said it followed him home. All said he was in my backyard tied up, but it had allergies and we'd have to <laughs> bathe it. And it took medication, and uh, his yeah. name was Ben. He's a great dog, and uh, but it, it can be miserable for a dog. The scratching, the itching, and it can right. lead to other infections on the skin. Yeah. So it's something you have to take care of. We love our dogs. We know. I mean, come oh, yeah. on. Yeah, my handler's at home itching right now for me to get there. <laughs> there you go. Get him out of the yard, Doctor Liska. Thank you for the great advice. We really appreciate it. We'll get this link out and get the information out to the people about this great product. Thank you, and take care. Have a great day. Have a great day. Okay. You too. Uh, yeah, we do. We do. We spend a million dollars on pets. Mm -hmm. We love them.